Hey everyone, it's Melinda Love here with Boom and Vix TV. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the six carnival cruises that Vix and I have coming up between now and May 2023. I also wanted to share with you some of the amazing Carnival Players Club casino offers that Carnival has been sending us and we really cannot pass these offers up. We've just been waiting for them to settle down on all the restrictions to sail and they finally are. So we went ahead and booked six Carnival cruises. So let's head over to my computer so I can share everything with you now. So first, let me show you guys some of the amazing deals that we've been getting from Carnival, especially the casino offers from the Carnival Players Club. These offers have been coming in for a while, especially since cruising started back up, but they were requiring vaccines to sail. But now that they are not requiring vaccines, we have booked six cruises. And let me show you these offers so that you understand why. The main reason is because we are so ready to get back into cruising. But look at some of these offers. This one specifically, the Hot Streak Bonus, up to $1,050 off casino rates, starting at an average of $90 per person, plus $1,000 onboard credit. So not fun play where you can only use it in the casino, but onboard credit you can use on anything on board, your shore excursion, your drinks, photos, casino. And best of all, Previously, we have been able to take onboard credit, put it in the slot machine, and then cash out and get cash in hand. I'm not positive if that still works that way or if it always works that way, but that has worked for us in the past. So we are gonna try it and see what happens. And this offer also comes with drinks on us while playing in the casino. And this one can actually be used up to eight times. And Biggs and I both have the same offer. So that's potentially 16 times. And let me show you the other offer that we have used. So I compared both offers on the sailings that we were interested in. And I went with the one that worked out to be the better offer of the two. Because sometimes the cost of the room is higher on one offer than it is on another if they're offering you more stuff. And especially if it's a newer ship or you're trying to get a better room. We personally like to get balcony rooms. If there's not one at a reasonable price, we will do an ocean view room, but we really don't like interior. Well, I shouldn't say we. Biggs would stay in an interior if it wasn't for me. So this is the other offer that we used. Through this is the jackpot deal up to a free balcony room plus 200 fun play. So how this works is you actually pay $100 per person and then you get that back in onboard credit. And then you also get 200 fun play to use in the casino and drinks on us while playing in the casino. We use this offer for some of the new ships next year we were able to find balcony rooms on the Celebration and the Horizon and a free Ocean View room on the Mardi Gras. So $100 per person and then you get that back. And when we did the Hot Streak bonus offer on those same sailings, it was going to be a lot more for the room itself. And then you got the $1,000 onboard credit back. But overall, this deal worked out better to get on those ships. So this hot streak bonus deal, the cheapest sailings are on some of the older ships, which isn't a problem, but being that we're getting back into cruising and making cruise videos for our YouTube channel, we want to have a variety of different ships and not keep getting on the same ones every time. Look at this. If we lived closer to Miami, I would be booking a lot more of these, but let me show you guys what we have booked. So our next cruise is in two days. It's on the Carnival Elation from Jacksonville to the Bahamas. And this we booked with the Hot Streak bonus. So it's the Carnival Elation. As you see, there's not that many balcony rooms on the ship. So we do have an ocean view this time. Out of the next six cruises, we have two ocean views and four balconies. So 
This one, we do have the ocean view. So for the ocean view, it was $202 per person. The total cost that we paid is $749, and we're getting $1,000 back in onboard credit. We did not prepay the gratuities because we will have that come out of the onboard credit when we're on board. You can't use your onboard credit to prepay the gratuities, but you can use it while you're on the ship. So that's why we don't have that added there, but we definitely do pay the gratuities. As you see here, I have a $687 balance of onboard credit remaining because I've already used some of it for excursions and the internet plan. So it looks like there was actually $1,015 issued and I have used $328. So I pre-ordered the internet package for both of us to have. I think it's $80 total. We like to have the internet because we have the eBay store and we need to talk to customers and send offers and all of that. Plus being able to check our cameras, to check on our cat while we're not at home and to be able to communicate with family. And it is cheaper to order the internet plan before you sail. And here you see that we purchased the Reef Shark Snorkeling Adventure in Bimini. And I think that was about a hundred and some dollars per person. We had actually booked another shore excursion for Freeport, but I ended up canceling it to save the money. I want to be able to get as much cash back as possible in the onboard credit if it ends up that we can get it back. So I'm going to try probably the first night in the casino to see if we can get that cash in hand. And if not, then I'll go ahead and spend it on the other shore excursion and other things from around the ship, probably play in the casino a bit. But we will definitely try to see if we can get that cash first, or at least some of it. We might need to play through some of the money in the casino and then cash out. But we'll see, and I will let you know in a future video how that works out. So the next sailing that we have after that is in 41 days. It is another four day to the Bahamas again from Port Canaveral this time. It's on the Carnival Liberty. So another older ship, which is fine, but this was another hot streak bonus offer where we get the thousand dollar onboard credit back. So this time we do have a balcony room and the balcony was 199 per person and the total was $741. So we ended up paying less for the balcony room on this sailing than we paid on the other one for the ocean view room and again we didn't do the gratuities yet because we'll have them take that from the onboard credit and if we are able to get the onboard credit in the casino turned into cash then we will no longer have the onboard credit and at that point the gratuities would come out of our bill at the end which i have linked to the carnival credit card which you get fun points for using so i'd rather it go on that credit card anyway so i can earn more fun points which turns into more money for cruises which we actually paid for all of these cruises on our carnival credit cards to build fun points to use for future cruises and money to spend on cruises so I try to find all the little workarounds for the best deals possible so that we can cruise a lot. So on this one, again, we paid $741. And out of the $1,000, I have $860 remaining. So that's more than we paid for the cruise. And we still got to purchase a shore excursion. So in Nassau, we like to purchase shore excursions. We don't necessarily enjoy walking around that port that much. So we have tentatively booked a snorkeling adventure, Catamaran, but there's a couple other snorkeling excursions that I was looking at, and I'm not positive I'm gonna keep this one. I might switch it to one of the other ones that I saw. The other island that this one goes to is Princess. We've actually never been to that one before, so we probably won't get an excursion there. So the third cruise that we have planned is in 75 days, November 27th on the Carnival Magic. So for this sailing, we actually use the free balcony room offer. 
So it's a six day sailing from Port Canaveral. We did get a balcony room. So it was $100 per person for the balcony room. And then you get that back in onboard credit. So the total that we paid for this sailing was $603. And then we'll get that back in onboard credit. And again, the gratuities have not been paid yet, but we'll use the onboard credit to cover that. And then we'll also get the 200 in fun play for the casino and the free drinks on us in the casino. Every one of the six sailings that we have booked coming up has free drinks on us in the casino. So anytime you're sitting in the casino, you can get drinks up to 15 a day. They could be alcoholic or not. The fourth cruise that we have coming up is in 117 days. It's on the Carnival Celebration. It's seven days and it's going to Amber Cove, San Juan, and St. Thomas. This one, we did get a balcony room again, and it's one of the newer ships, so look at how modern the room looks. I'm really excited about this. I realized I hadn't changed to a king bed or chose my dining time, so we like to choose the your time dining where you just show up at dinner anytime between 5.45 and 9.30 instead of choosing a set time to be there. But honestly, we don't end up going to the sit down dinner hardly ever anyway. So, so we use the free balcony room offer again on this sailing. So $100 per person that you get back in an onboard credit plus taxes and port fees. And this one, we ended up paying $590 for a balcony room on the celebration where we'll be getting $200 back in onboard credit, $200 back in fun play. So that's basically like $400 back. So $190 for this sailing. Plus we will be paying $101 a person for gratuities but we'll use the onboard credit right here, $200 to cover the gratuities. So again, another amazing deal. The next sailing we have coming up in February, 2023 is seven days from Port Canaveral on the Mardi Gras. So 144 days from now. And this one, we use the free room deal again they actually didn't have any free balconies on this ship but we were able to get an ocean view at least this is one of the newer ships as well it actually has a roller coaster on it so this one is very similar to some of the others 100 dollars per person and then you get that back in onboard credit for the ocean view room and the total was $547. So one thing I forgot to mention is the travel protection. So I have been getting the travel protection on these sailings. I used to not get it at all. I just risked everything. But being that so many things have been changing, like they just started to allow you to sail without a vaccine, like in case that changes back or anything else, I don't want to lose the money for six cruises. So I decided to go ahead and pay the $100 per cruise, $600, I know, but just pay it just in case and not have to worry about it. So that did add a little bit more to these totals, but still $547 total for two people on the Mardi Gras for seven days is amazing. That's less than $100 per day. And I'm getting $400 back. $200 in onboard credit, which again will go for gratuities, and $200 in fun play for the casino and drinks on us. Amazing deal. You really can't pass these deals up. And the last cruise that we have planned right now is a six days Western Caribbean from Miami on the Carnival Horizon, which is also a newer ship. And that's in 250 days. And this one, we use the free balcony room offer. Forgot to change my settings again and my dinner. So this is how you can choose what you want for dinner. See, you can choose either 6 o'clock or 8.15, which for us, that's just too exact. But if you have a big party of people, it is nice to have that 
set time where everyone can meet back together at dinner but we like to just do the your time dining so this is on the carnival horizon and i think we paid a little bit more for this one yes they didn't have any free balcony rooms on any sailings for this offer we were able to get a balcony room for 250 a person which is still a great deal so the total we paid for this cruise is 887 and we will be getting 400 dollars back 200 in onboard credit 200 in fun play and then drinks on us so again the 200 will cover our gratuities of 87 per person so we won't have to worry about that so that's what we have booked right now and i actually thought i had booked more of the hot streak bonus offer than i did with the thousand dollar onboard credit back but i wanted to get on so many different ships and a lot of them the better deal worked out to be the other one but i really want to look through these again and see if we can squeeze in a few more like three or four day short cruises where you get a thousand dollars back because some of them work out that you get more money back than you spent on the cruise so there's ways to tweak this like imagine if you did two three days back to back and got a thousand dollars back on each one you'd be sure to get back more money than you spent so they'd be actually paying you to cruise i just wish we lived closer to these ports we're about seven hours from port canaveral but 10 and a half hours from Miami. So that adds more costs for driving. And then of course you do pay to park and there are other expenses involved. So I'm not sure, but I need to look over this more and see if we want to add a few cruises. There's only the one ship that leaves out of Jacksonville. Jacksonville is our closest port which is the Elation, it's an older ship. That's the one we're going on in two days. But I really don't wanna do a whole bunch of cruises on that same ship. But I definitely want to keep looking into this. Like, we haven't been on the Freedom yet, so maybe I can look into this. Let's look at some dates. So once you look at the dates, you can see the prices. So we really don't want interior room, so I'm not even looking at that. Ocean view, maybe balcony is really what i'm looking at so 279 is not bad and then you get a thousand dollars back if you don't mind an interior room you can see how you can really get the deals to me it's worth paying a little bit extra for a balcony especially at some of these rates going from miami on the conquest i see some good balcony rates 184 274 and then of course i always compare to all the other offers and see what actually ends up being the best offer but i think we definitely have enough bookings for now but i will keep looking i just wanted to share with you guys some of these deals that we get it really is worth it to play in the casino if that's something you enjoy anyway we like to do the slots and you earn points and then you get offers like this, which really make it worth it. So I know some people say they always lose, they don't wanna gamble, they don't wanna waste money, but technically you're saving money. We have honestly saved way more money than we've spent in the casino. We've played a lot in the casino. We've spent money, we've won money, but a lot of times we end up with a free cruise offer sent to our room by the end of the cruise. So we've went on several free cruises where you only pay taxes and port fees. And then you see here by the deals that they send. And you can use these multiple times. Well, some of them you can only use once, but I know for a fact that the hot streak bonus can be used eight times. So that's a lot of cruises you could book and get $1,000 back. And if you really want to maximize your value, you could take the interior room. You could take the least expensive sailings on the older ships. And you could really maximize 
customize your experience and end up with a completely free cruise after it all works out. We are so thrilled to be able to bring the cruising videos back to our channel finally. We are so grateful. Every time I think about it, it brings tears to my eyes. I literally started crying when we just got on the independence of the seas for the first cruise in years i am just beyond grateful and excited and just ready to start this journey again i really hope you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful in some way we are so excited to share these cruises with you guys and provide as much information and content about the ports and the experience on the cruises so if that's something you're interested in, please check back in the near future for more. Thank you so much for watching.